Hello everyone. In this part fourth of differential equation, we will solve few questions related to the particular solution of the differential equation when we have the situation in which we can easily do the separation of the variables. So let's start with the solution of question number one. In this question number one, it is mentioned this is the differential equation and when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Now, first of all, we will do like that 1 plus x square dy is equal to what is this thing? x into 1 plus y square dx. Now, by the method of variable separable, this is y upon 1 plus y square dy is equal to x upon 1 plus x square dx. Now, on integrating, it means integration of y upon 1 plus y square dy is equals to integration of x upon 1 plus x square dx. Now, what we are observing, we have to do by substitution. That's why we want 2y. It means multiply by 2 and divide by 2. Here also multiply by 2 and divide by 2. It means this become log 1 plus y square. Half of this is equals to half of log 1 plus x square plus c. Now, this is the equation number 1. Now, we have when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Using this, we will find out the value of c. Now, if x is equal to 0, we have y is equal to 1. It means what this become? Half of log 2 is equal to, what is this? Half of log 1. Log 1 is always 0. It means what this become plus c. It implies that c is equal to half of log 2. So, this is the value of c. Therefore, from equation 1, we are getting half of log 1 plus y square is equal to half of log 1 plus x square and this is plus 2. Shift this term here. This is log, half log 2. What is this? Half log 2. Now, shift this term here. It means log m minus log n means log m upon n. It means 1 plus y square upon 1 plus x square is equals to half of log 2, half of cancel out. It means log 1 plus y square upon 1 plus x square is equals to log 2. And this is the answer. So, in this way, we have to solve this type of questions. So, let's start with the solution of question number 1, B part, in which we have the differential equation dy by dx is equals to 1 plus x square plus y square plus x square y square is this is the equation and condition is when x is equals to 0 we have y is equals to 1 it means now dy by dx is equals to 1 plus x square y square is common it means plus y square but this become 1 plus x square it means now overall what is common 1 plus x square is common so what this become 1 plus y square and this become dy upon 1 plus y square is equals to 1 plus x square dx now on integration of both side it means integration of dy 1 plus y square is equals to integration of 1 plus x square dx now it implies that what is this 1 plus y square means dy by upon 1 plus y square means 10 inverse y what is the integration of 1 x and what is the integration of x square x cube upon 3 plus c this is the equation number 1 now if x is equals to 0 we have y is equals to 1 it means 10 inverse 1 is equals to 0 plus 0 and plus c it means c is equals to pi by 4 therefore from equation 1 we are going to get 10 inverse y is equals to x plus x cube upon 3 plus pi by 4 and this is the answer for this part. So, this is the way to solve the questions. Only this is different with the general solution because we have to find out the value of c by giving conditions. Now, look at this thing. In this c part, we have the equation log dy by dx. This is the first question c part dy by dx is equals to 3x plus 4y and it is mentioned when x is equals to 0 we have y is also equals to 0 now if this dy by dx is equals to e raised to power 3x 
plus 4y. It means this become dy upon e raised to power 4y is equals to e raised to power 3x dx. It implies that integration of e raised to power minus 4y dy is equals to integration of e raised to power 3x dx. It implies that on integration what will come? e raised to power minus 4y upon minus 4 is equals to e raised to power 3x upon 3 and plus c. This is the equation number 1. Now if x is equals to 0, we have y is also equals to 0. It implies that minus e raised to power 0 upon 4, e raised to power 0 upon 3 plus c. It means e raised to power 0 is 1 always. So what this become minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 3 is equals to c. After taking the LCM, c is equals to minus common 12 LCM. So what this become 3 plus 4, it means c is equals to minus 7 upon 12. Therefore, from equation 1, we are going to get minus e raised to power minus 4y upon 4 is equals to e raised to power 3x upon 3 minus 7 upon 12. Now, once again, if we will take the overall LCM, so before this, what we will do, we will shift 7 by 12 here. It means what this become e raised to power 3x upon 3 plus e raised to power minus 4y upon 4 is equals to 7 upon 12. After taking the LCM, we will get 4 e raised to power 3x plus 3 e raised to power minus 4y is equals to 7. And this is the answer for this part. Now, in question number 1, D part, we have cos dy by dx is equals to a and it is given when x is equals to 0, we have y is equals to 1. Now, first of all, what we will do, dy by dx is equals to cos inverse a. It means this is the constant term. It means what this become dy is equals to dx cos inverse a. It implies that what this become integration of dy is equals to integration of cos inverse a dx. And now, what is the integration of dy? Why? What this become? This is constant term. x cos inverse a plus c. This is the equation number 1. Now, if x is equals to 0, what is this? y is equals to 1. It means 1 is equals to x is 0. So, plus c. It implies that c is equals to 1 only. Therefore, from equation 1, we are going to get the result y is equals to x cos inverse a and this is plus 1. It implies that y minus 1 is equals to x cos inverse a and this is the solution of this part. So in this way we have to do the practice for the other questions so that in exam there will be no problem. Don't forget to give the answer of this question in comment box. Thanks and God bless you.